Hello, my name is Laszlo Robotsky and I'm a proud member of the European SharePoint community. In this video, in this webcast, you will learn how to analyze SharePoint document libraries from operation point of view. Just a few words about me. I am the founder of the Ruvet Limited in Hungary and I am an officer on the 65 and System Center 2012 Auditech for several years. And if you would like to know further information about me and my activities in the past, please check my uh, LinkedIn profile. In my presentation, you will also learn what could be the cause of the analyzing SharePoint content, how can we get this kind of data from the SharePoint environment, what tools we can use for, and finally, I will present a short demonstration about analyzing real-time real SharePoint data using Microsoft Power BI. Uh, the demonstration is almost code free, requires minimal knowledge of the data analysis expressions. Why we have to create new reporting interfaces and dashboards? Because uh, most of the cases, the built in reports are simply not enough, or online dashboards are required instead of providing snapshot, uh, snapshots from the past, and we have to display and identify trends, for example, storage allocation histories file type popularity and uh, similar stuff like that. We have several ways to get the required data from the SharePoint environment. The easiest way, if we can create a specific view on the SharePoint list using the built-in functions such as the grouping by or the filtering. In order to get the detailed information about the file stored in the library, we can export all files to a local folder on my PC uh, and I can use the command line tools, uh, for example, uh, the very robust PowerShell, which is able to get all the detailed information about the files. In addition, we can analyze these files uh, at the original source. Since the SharePoint PowerShell CMD let, uh, we can connect to the SharePoint environment directly, and we can export the result of the analysis to a CSV file. Of course, we can use uh, third-party tools also, if we need further features or graphical presentation of the data. Uh, this is just a very simple list about the tools that we can use for analyzing the information. There are lots of them, such as the internal reports, Excel Power Query, that uh, gives us the, the possibility of using charts, uh, not just the tables. We can use PowerShell, as I mentioned before. Uh, Microsoft Power BI, which is a very powerful tool to analyze data, and it has some um, online ecosystem where we can share the dashboards and there are third-party BI tools such as the Tableau, Tipco, and uh, uh, several other applications. Um, let's see the demo. In my demonstration, uh, I will show you how can we create visual online dashboards analyzing SharePoint documents library using Microsoft uh, Power BI. Let's get it started. To analyze the SharePoint data, first of all, we need the Power BI desktop application, which is downloadable uh, free of charge from the Microsoft website. Uh, to get the uh, data source, I have to open a data connection to my SharePoint environment. I have to select it from uh, the Get Data menu, and I will connect it to the SharePoint list. I have to provide uh, the URL of my uh, SharePoint environment and my SharePoint environment is located on the Office 365 subscription in the SharePoint online. And in the list I have to select one of my document library, uh, which is the Assistian 2012. And now uh, we can see a fast preview of my uh, document library. As you can see, we I have uh, two, uh, say, uh, two are identically the same column which are called ID, and I have to rename one of them uh, to avoid the data um, mismatch in my environment. So, as a first step, I have to rename it to ID2. Yes, uh, I would like to uh, show you a couple of information about the SharePoint environment, which needs some further information um, uh, from uh, the file types and file names. First of all, I have to uh, create two new columns which will uh, provide me the name of the file, the extension of the file, date of the no modification in the date format and um, 
I need the length of the file. So I have to first of all select the file properties that you can see the file properties column in the SharePoint environment uh, is stored in a record, which means that uh, there is a couple of further information uh, behind this uh, column. As you can see, there are lots of further information and I need the length of the file and name of the file uh, from, this in, from this record. These two new information will be listed in separated columns uh, in this view. Yep, as you can see here is the uh, file length column, uh, the file name which contains uh, the name of the file and the extension of the file. First of all, uh, as you can see, the file length type is not a number. First of all, I have to change it to a uh, decimal number to use this information as a number. And uh, I have to split the name of the file to two different columns. I need the title of the file, which is the name of the file before the dot, and I need the extension of the file, which is the part of the file name after the uh, dot. So first of all, I have to duplicate the, this uh, column because I would like to leave the file.name information as is. And I will work on the new column, which is called filename.copy. And I will rename this information for file title. And after that, I will split this information to two different part by, uh, by using a delimiter and the delimiter will be a dot which is the dot before the extension and uh, I would like to consider the uh, dot as the rightmost delimiter and as a result of this activity you will see that I will have a new column file title dot one which is containing just the title of the name uh, file and file title dot two which is containing the extension of the file let's rename it uh, again it will be a file title and it will be the file extension. Okay, these are the activities that I have to create before um, setting up the reports and the dashboards. Uh, I have to select the close and apply to apply this modification in the um, Power BI model. Okay, um, let's see my fields. And let's see what kind of information can I uh, display very easily. First of all, I would like to show what is the number of the files uh, which are stored in the document library. Uh, this is very easy. I'm just uh, entering a visualization, uh, which is a, a simple uh, data card. And I would like to show here how many files are uh, stored on the SharePoint library, as you can see by selecting the file name, which is uh, the field is co uh, containing the count of the file name. It says we have 70, uh, 27 uh, files stored in the library. In addition, I would like to highlight also the files, uh, the allocated, sp all allocated space uh, by the files. I will insert uh, a data page again, and I would like to summarize the file length and as you can see, uh, we have almost 30 megabytes uh, of the <coughs> cumulative storage of the uh, files. Uh, I don't want to see uh, the file length in megabytes. I would like to see in bytes. Uh, to, uh, to get this information, I have to go to the uh, data label. I have to select it here, the none, which means that I don't want to see not the thousand billions, billions or trillions, just uh, simply the bytes without zero decimals. And now you can see we have exactly 12 million and stuff like that. Uh, bytes are uh, allocated by the files on the SharePoint library. I would like to see, uh, in addition, what is the, in a graphicon, uh, in a graph, uh, how many files are stored in the library uh, per file types. To get this information, I have to insert a new visualization, uh, which is a bar chart, and I would like to see <coughs> the file extensions, and I would like to see the number of the files also. So it was very easy, and you can see these are the file types that are stored uh, in my environment. 
and these are the number of the file types which are stored in the SharePoint environment, uh, in the SharePoint library. I would like to see not just the number of the files, but the size of the files per file, per file type. The approach is uh, almost the same. I have to insert a new visualization to the dashboard and I would like to see <coughs> the file length by file extensions. As you can see, these are the types of the file and um, extension uh, extension of the file and what is the size of the specific file extension on the, this uh, environment. There is a very um, important information which is stored in the library and we can use it for uh, analyzing the uh, space allocation history from the past which will be a, a trend information in this environment and I would like to show how can you create this uh, chart but it requires some uh, prerequisite steps. First of all I have to create two new measures uh, for this dashboard because as you can see the modified uh, date information uh, in this query is stored in the text uh, data type and I cannot set it to uh, date type information because I will get an error so I have to create a new uh, modified uh, inf uh, modified information column in the environment so let's create a new column the column name will be modified as version 2 and I will use the date function which will be uh, build up the new date information based on the existing information. I will use the existing modified information and I need the first four character as the year. I need the next two character for the months. The last two character for the days. set it to the date version, date format and I need this information with the layout like this. Yep, and I have created a new uh, column which is contained the exact date in a very well format, date format. Okay, let's go to the reports. And you can see I have the new um, field, which is called the modified two. I need to <coughs> set up a new uh, measure also, which is containing the information about the stored file size in a specific date. So I have to create a new measure because it is needed for the trend analysis. And it will be called cumulated size. And the content will be the calculated from the expression. The expression is the sum, not substitute, but the sum, where we will contain the, we will summarize in the file length, file length. We have to filter it by date, but I can create it by using the filter in uh, modify to and I will collect all the information which is less or equal <coughs> in 
information yes and I'm ready with the cumulated size measure and right now I have just to insert the new visualization where I would like to show the cumulated size by date Yes, and now you can see we have a trend analysis about uh, how many, what is the uh, stored file size in a specific date uh, in the past. Of course, it will not show the information about if I'm uploading and after that I'm deleting a file in the past, but based on the existing information uh, uh, of the files are stored in the SharePoint Online uh, document library, you will see when a specific file has been uploaded and what was the uh, total size of the SharePoint files uh, on the specific document library on that uh, date. Okay, the last step, I have to publish uh, this dashboard. Oh, now first of all, we have to just rename some information like uh, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to show the not needed information, I just like to rename the title which is count of files and I would like to show it here are the total file size this is the file size by extension this is of the files by extension and this is the file storage history Yes, and the last step I have to publish it. I would like to publish it to my personal Power BI dashboard. Yes, I would like to save the changes. Yes, it has been successfully published and if, if I would like to see it on my Power BI dashboard, I have to log in first. And now you can see this is the dashboard we have created and now we can play with the data. For example, I would like to see just the, the Word document file. I can click on uh, just one uh, extension and you will see we have only seven document files with the cumulated size of the uh, document file are a little bit more than one megabyte. And there is only one file and all of the files has been uploaded on uh, last year, 17th of September. This is an online uh, dashboard. I can refresh it anytime, but it will be automatically refreshed uh, in uh, every minute based on the default settings of the uh, Power BI environment. Thank you for your attention, and if you uh, found this uh, demonstration for very useful, please find me on LinkedIn and endorse me. Thank you.